I'm Tyler, I'm 13, and most of my art is costume making, drawing, and digital art. Anything can be art. Costume making is an actual professional art that you can do for a living, like in Hollywood and stuff. I learned how to make my first fursuit by going on YouTube. And then I just like kept on watching and watching and I just watched them for like hours straight and I, I didn't stop. I'm just gonna jot out the lower jaw. Okay. Toxie was the character that like, it was sort of a secret character at first and I never really told anyone and I would just like draw Toxie in my school books. And, like I just decided to turn Toxie into a suit. So first I would start out by gathering most of the materials, like I've gathered the foam, the hot glue, and then I started sculpting them by like measuring my head. And then I sort of like sculpted the snout and then the cheeks and then the ears. The ears is probably like the hardest part. Cutting this part. Take a Sharpie and you draw on the foam where you're gonna put everything and then you just sort of like glue it all together. My style normally changes a lot, like when it comes to drawing and fursuit making. I very like the cute and the dark stuff. Anime sort of also inspired me, because like most of the eyes that I make are like very cartoony. This Luna plushie sort of like looks like the style of eyes that I do a lot. Like the expression that you can see with the mouth combined with the eyes, the cat's happy. When I was about like three turning four, like I sort of like found out about Art City. I thought it was great because I used to like always just scribble together art. And then I decided to start sneaking in with my brother and lying about my age, saying I was six, even though it was obvious that I was four. And like they didn't really care because I was like decently well behaved. I mostly go to Art City every day because sometimes I don't have enough material at home or I run out of space in a sketchbook. When that happens, I like come here more often, especially when it comes to my first suit making. Normally when I'm walking around the street with it on or I'm taking it somewhere and I'm holding it, people are like, oh, hi, furry. Or like if I'm wearing it, people normally ask me for pictures or they like honk their horn at me saying that's cool. I normally get a lot of attention for it. I feel that anyone should be who they are and I want everyone to be treated equally, no matter race, gender, what they do for a living, or everything about them. Like, I feel that everybody should be accepted. I am planning on trying to start like my own business for fursuit making, since I've progressed so much in under a year, and I'm learning new things every day. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want to be cute, fluffy stuff things?